In this video series for SEN and SENELEC members, we discuss bridging the gap between standardization and research. Welcome to video one of this series. This will help you think about how standards can be used to support innovation and why people in standardization, research and innovation need to talk. Why do we need to think about this anyway? And what do you mean by supporting innovation? Well, standardization is not just about developing documents. It's about building communities of experts, getting people together who usually wouldn't talk, which can accelerate innovation, then taking what comes of it and making it public. This way, standards become an important tool for knowledge transfer and for market access of new technologies. But how do I know where to start? Start with the researcher's needs and work from there. If you view the services you can offer as a standards body as a toolkit, you can have a meaningful conversation with researchers without immediately going into standard drafting mode. Your services may start with assisting in building a community, analysis of which standards are already out there, or of where standards might be needed. I think I'm getting the picture, but how can standards really support innovation? In the earliest stages of the innovation process, by defining terms so that all parties speak the same language. You'll also need measurement and testing standards to compare results and to verify progress within R&D. Interface or compatibility standards are important to achieve integration of new products and services with existing ones. And all the time, there is a knowledge transfer in both directions. Research findings can be disseminated through standards and thus have a sustained impact. These standards, in turn, act as a baseline for future R&D. Look at standards as a pool of knowledge on the current state of technology. You can use this to identify future areas of research, by consulting existing standards and identifying gaps, or by finding the direction in which innovation is headed by following its trail of standards. OK, so standards support innovation, but what's in it for us, the standards bodies? Investing in research-related activities raises awareness within the research community. This opens up a group of potential new standardization experts. Standards bodies may even wish to participate in research projects themselves, which in turn opens up research funds for standardization activities. It's a great way to build your reputation and expand your network. Secondly, integrating research in standardization is necessary to push forward the standardization system as a whole. It keeps the stock of standards up to date and increases the quality of standards. Uptake and credibility of standards increase. This way, not only researchers will benefit from bridging the gap, but all users of standards. OK, I've got a question for you. Go ahead. All these things you've said about why linking standardization and research are so important, who says so? How about governments the world over? In many countries, promoting innovation through standardization has become an integral part of economic policy. And how about Horizon 2020, for which the European Commission allocated 80 billion euros? Follow me into the next video and I'll explain.